Hello YouTube, have you ever dreamt of having an amplifier that does not need any soldering or wire working or anything like that? Just plug and play. Well, here's one. So what this is, this is Helix Match PP62 DSP. PP stands for plug and play. Uh, it's actually a five channel amplifier with a total of um, four channels, four ohms, 35 watts, peak 70. Uh, at two ohms, four times 50 watts, 100 watts per channel, peak. Uh, and subwoofer one channel, uh, 160 watts, Aramas uh, 320 watts uh, peak. So uh, it's a pretty good amplifier for a five uh, channel amplifier. And the size of it, it's this small. It actually is uh, 18 centimeters by 14 centimeters. So smaller than a half of a A4 sheet of paper. If you can see here, it's, it's actually smaller. Quite nice. Okay, so what this does. Uh, first of all, you, um, you might have a normal car like we all have. A normal shopping car, not a base bumping uh, competing car or anything like that. You have your normal car and you want some, a, a little bit of upgrade. Uh, if you buy an external amplifier, you need power wires and uh, RCA signal wires or, uh, or, or something like that. But with this match 62 DSP, you only need this one cable. You have roughly, let's say, two and a half meters, two meters long cable here. On the one side, you have normal DIN leads that hooks into your um, OEM or a aftermarket head unit like so, clickety-click, and your uh, original wires that went into your head unit goes here. And then you have a, I think this is actually antenna or external remote wire for your amplifier. However, uh, what this does, it takes your normal uh, uh, speaker wires and uh, drives them back to this helix amplifier and then it has a four channel a uh, five channel amplifier and with a DSP built inside you can change your uh, cutout frequencies low and high pace filter subsonic filters and uh, uh, time delays uh, you can set your uh, a two way a fully active front end to your car or use a passive coaxials on the back and on the front and mix, or mix match speakers and passive components. But with this you have the chance and ability to use DSP with your normal car setup. It actually has a two channel output from your DSP so you can also, uh, if you have a uh, let's say subwoofer or a subwoofer that is under your seat you have a RCA output line output here so you can uh, change the time delays on your subwoofer also or make the subsonic filters and the high uh, low pass filters with the DSP built inside here it has a big connector here where the car electricity and the speaker wires come into. It changes the dust the thing, thus the hibbery gibbery magic inside, and then it pushes it out uh, from here back to your speakers. So basically, you don't have to change your speakers to get more power out from there. You just change the amplifier and replace, uh, put this in between your head unit and your uh, speaker wires so you can get a better sound quality in your car. What also this has is it has a USB port here so you can uh, put your laptop in here and you can install the Helix 
uh, DSP software on your laptop and uh, change the settings inside uh, this this unit. It also pro this you know in this box also is provided the USB cable you need to connect into this amplifier DSP um, device. It has a external micro SD card slot also. Uh, it, it is meant that if you don't have a laptop you can save your files into micro SD card and put it in here and uh, to pressing the control button you get w slot 1 or slot 2 to be used inside your uh, 62 DSP. It also have a remote in, remote out. If you are using, if you don't want to use uh, the signal that is coming from here, you can uh, turn it on or off externally. And it also can uh, turn on, for example, your subwoofer amplifier. You just hook your RCAs here and use here remote out to um, uh, to turn on your amplifier through this. Match 62 DSP. Also, it can uh, use the control input. Actually, you can use this Helix control input to use modes or change master volume or subwoofer volume with a remote controller. And on the other side, you just have a, a big connector for your sub out output for your subwoofer. It actually uh, Helix makes. Uh, Match makes their own subwoofers just to block and play in here so you can get an external subwoofer that is totally driven from this device. And also this has this input sensitivity and a clipping light. What it does, it, it, you just turn your uh, head unit on and crank it up and you can uh, change use this potentiometer here to change the values of the input sensitivity to match with the uh, device so that if you see clipping here, you turn your uh, head unit lower, and if you don't see clipping here, you can uh, uh, you can turn your volume up or use higher sensitivity here to mix match your uh, sensitivity to your amp head unit's output voltage. With that, you can fully operate your whole system through this one device. Uh, what we are using this, we are taking this to my wife's car, a Volvo V70. Uh, we have a Digi Digital Designs M4 amplifier and one 12-inch subwoofer there. And we only have a Alpine head unit there. And we are now running pa with passive components, a Digital Designs uh, CE 5.2 series at the front. So we are using only four channels here to hook up uh, with the original wiring. So we can put tweeters, uh, lower the tweeter uh, level down and use the uh, time time correction to get the stereo image correctly. It's actually quite nice device, uh, device and uh, it has a low power, let, low power only 4 times 35 watts, but I think it will be more than enough for our, uh, our use. And if, if we need more, we can, only, we can still use these two outputs here. So it's a nice device. It's really meant to be uh, used in OEM situations where you can actually have a uh, wiring that is meant you to your car. Now these have a normal standard DIN plugs here. You can get a FACRA uh, plug-in connectors also or if you have different kind of connections in your car the match series has uh, many many different kind of uh, uh, custom wiring you for you to hook this up in your car um, so that's about it uh, like if you like it dislike if you dislike it, and leave a comment how's my english i tried as I tried as hard as possible to explain everything to you as clearly as possible, but hey, I'm not a native English speaker, so there might be some slight misunderstandings. If you have anything to comment or anything to ask about match series or this device, I would be happy to uh, find information for you. Just write in comment and like and share the video if, if this was helpful, helpful for you. 
So that was a match PP62 DSP. PP as plug and play. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.